Hello everyone, welcome to Junior Biosense. Today we are going to learn about the bonds which are present in the antigen and antibody interaction. The first bond is the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond, we all know that the hydrogen is the electropositive molecule and the electronegative molecules are oxygen and nitrogen. They have the capacity to attract the shared pair of electrons. So, hydrogen bond form between the slightly negative oxygen of one molecule and the slightly positive hydrogen of another molecule. So, this particular reason is the hydrogen bond. Next point is electrostatic interactions. The electrostatic interaction generally occur due to the attraction of the oppositely charged groups located on the two protein side. We all know that antigens and antibodies are kind of proteins. So, proteins are the sequence of the amino acids. So, amino acid consists of one amino group and one carboxylic group. So, the carboxylic group contains negative charge and the amino group contains positive charge. So, due to difference in charge, they are oppositely attracted and they uh, interact by electrostatic interactions. Then the next point is van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces are the weakest forces but they are able to attract all kind of molecules. So generally van der Waals forces occur in the non-polar molecules. So antigen is a non-polar molecule and antibody is also a non-polar molecule. Due to the movement of electron to one part the charge distribution takes place which results in van der Waals force and the van der Waals force can attract other kind of molecule and the next is hydrophobic interaction we all know that hydrophilic means water loving and the hydrophobic means water hating so Antigen and antibody are, as they are non-polar, they are hydrophobic and the hydrophobic surfaces, they interact like a hydrophobic interactions. The hydrophobic interactions occur when two hydrophobic surfaces, that is the surface of antigen and the surface of antibody come together and they expel the water by the formation of peptide bond. So that's all about the bonds which are present in the antigen antibody interaction. It is a very brief introduction about the antigen antibody interaction. I hope it will help you. Thank you.